In the depths of the galaxy, amidst the shadows of the burgeoning empire, Darth Vader finds himself at a crossroads, poised to make a decision that could alter the course of his destiny and that of the galaxy. As the iconic Dark Lord grapples with his subservience to Emperor Palpatine, a new threat emerges, a sentient droid virus known as the Scourge, which seeks to assimilate both droids and organic life into its hive mind. The story unfolds in the aftermath of The Empire Strikes Back, during a tumultuous period in Vader's relationship with Palpatine. Their alliance, always fragile, is tested further when Vader encounters the Scourge, an entity born from a dark side cult's anti-Sith technology. This encounter happens at a crucial juncture, as Palpatine demonstrates his command over the dark side to reassert his dominance over Vader, pushing him to his limits. In a dramatic showdown depicted in Darth Vader issue number 40, Vader confronts Palpatine in the Imperial Palace on Coruscant. The confrontation is fierce, with both Sith Lords unleashing their full power. Darth Vader bypasses that blockade completely as he flies through in his TIE fighter, superbly navigating the orbital defences. Emperor Palpatine is alerted to his imminent arrival and lightly chastises Masa Meda for failing to kill his apprentice. I like that we see Palpatine is still playing his minions off of one another. Presumably, he still sees Vader as his most useful tool, but is still encouraging Masa Meda to remove him from the board, likely assuming that surviving any assassination attempts will only make Vader stronger. As Vader closes in on the Imperial Palace, Palpatine actually seems worried for a moment. It seems even he's not certain he could survive bombardment from a starfighter. Vader is shot down and crashes into the Imperial Palace, warning his master that he has come for him. Palpatine is impressed that he has regained control over his Force abilities and is eager to test his apprentice's strength. Palpatine, however, retains the upper hand, revealing his ability to thrive on Vader's hatred, a dynamic that fuels his dark side energies. The two of them square up to each other, only for Palpatine to remind Vader that he still holds complete dominion over Imperial forces. He orders Vader's previously loyal death troopers to open fire on him, and the apprentice immediately goes on the defensive. Vader makes short work of everyone, but that means little as Palpatine expected nothing less. The Emperor unleashes the full power of his Force Lightning on Darth Vader, who fails to keep it at bay as it reaches beyond his lightsaber and covers him in electricity. But as they duel, the droid Scourge infiltrates the palace, leading to chaos and a strategic pivot by Vader. Realizing his own limitations and Palpatine's hold over him, Vader makes a startling decision to ally with the Scourge. This alliance is not just a bid for power, but a calculated move to finally surpass his master. Vader allows the Scourge to infect his suit, integrating its hive mind capabilities with his own formidable powers. This merger is not without risks, but offers Vader a unique opportunity to command a vast network of corrupted droids. The subsequent issues explore Vader's internal struggle and his attempts to dominate the Scourge's influence. He cleverly isolates a fragment of the Scourge within his suit, turning it into a tool rather than a master. This manipulation allows Vader to extend his control over an army of droids, using them as extensions of his will and amplifying his Force abilities. However, the Scourge is not easily controlled. It attempts to fully assimilate Vader, promising ultimate power while echoing the manipulative tactics of Palpatine. Vader battles not just the physical embodiments of the Scourge, but also its psychological warfare, striving to maintain his identity against the dual manipulations of Palpatine and the Scourge. As the narrative progresses towards Darth Vader issue 41, the plot thickens with Imperial forces hunting Vader, setting the stage for epic confrontations. Despite the Scourge's enhancements, Vader's struggle illustrates his continuous battle between man and machine, highlighting his deep-rooted conflict and desire for redemption. The saga introduces the Schism Imperial, 
a faction opposed to Sith rule which considers recruiting Vader. This subplot adds layers to Vader's narrative, suggesting possible alliances and new dynamics in his fight against Palpatine. The story arc serves as a profound exploration of Vader's character, delving deep into themes of power, control, and destiny. It sets the stage for his eventual redemption in Return of the Jedi, illustrating the complexities of his final acts against Palpatine. Through his alliance with the Scourge, Vader seeks not just to overthrow his master, but to redefine his path. Caught between the machinations of the dark side and his lingering shards of humanity. In this vivid reimagining, Darth Vader's journey through manipulation, resistance, and the quest for power becomes a compelling tale of a fallen hero's last stand against the forces that shaped him, highlighting the eternal conflict between the dark and the light within the Star Wars universe.